In the 1650s, both Russia and Sweden invaded the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, but despite losing most of their land, King John II of Poland did not surrender. And in 1657, as Charles X was bogged down in Poland, the Danish tried to reclaim territory they had lost during the Tortoisen War over a decade earlier. But Charles X marched his troop from Poland to Jutland and across the frozen sea, capturing the Danes off guard and threatening Copenhagen. So in panic, Denmark-Norway sued for peace, handing over a great deal of territory to the Swedes in February 1658. The Danes were also forced to supply Swedish troops for a couple of months, but Charles X was still in a war with Poland and could not counterattack. This is because the powerful Dutch navy helped the Polish at sea and would harass Sweden's supplies to Poland. And it became obvious that the Polish were not going to cede territory to Sweden. Finally, the Danes stopped supplying Swedish troops in May, but the Swedish were still stationed in Jutland and Finn, and had moved an army into their newly acquired land of Scania. So with nowhere else to go, they decided to attack Denmark just a few months after making peace with them, and this time they hoped to capture Copenhagen. The assault on Copenhagen began in August, but Frederick III of Denmark-Norway had anticipated it, and burnt down houses surrounding the city and strengthened its defences. So Charles laid siege to the city, bombarding it daily, while the Swedish navy blockaded its harbour. Meanwhile, Wrangel took Swedish forces to capture Kronberg, a strategic castle giving the Swedes control over the narrow sound. This however proved ineffective to stop the Dutch, who, after promising to aid Denmark in a defensive war, sent a large fleet to meet the Swedes at the Battle of the Sound in October. Although no victor clearly emerged from the battle, it was a tactical victory for the Danes and Dutch, as their ships managed to enter Copenhagen, bringing supplies and reinforcements. Meanwhile, Austria, Poland and Brandenburg started putting together an army to aid their Danish ally in December. So with the Danes in Copenhagen now receiving supplies, Charles decided to assault the city in February 1659. However, spies had revealed his plans for the assault, and after six months under siege, the Danes had trained thousands of civilians. The Swedes attacked on the 11th, but they were soon trapped between the outer palisades and the moat because the bridges they brought were not long enough and the Danes had cut holes out in the ice, so they were forced to withdraw. They retreated to Funen, but Denmark's allies had besieged Stetten and together they moved into Jutland. Then, despite being outnumbered, the veteran Swedish soldiers managed to fight back a number of attempted invasions of Funen from May to July. Meanwhile, the English, the French and the Dutch met in the first concert of The Hague, trying to broker peace, and the English and the French threatened to intervene on Sweden's behalf if peace was not made. But the Dutch helped transport the Allies to the opposite side of Funen, encircling the Swedish defences and driving them back to Nyborg. The Swedish were then defeated in battle, but both sides could not make peace. However, between 1658 and 1660, the fighting did subside. For instance, the Swedish failed to take Frederiksald in Norway, and the Norwegians tried to retake their lost city of Trondheim. And in Scania, which Sweden took during the last war, Danish rebels often attacked Swedish patrols. But large-scale revolts in Malmö were stopped before they even began. However, on Bornholm, the Swedish governor was killed in late 1659, and the Danish population effectively took control. Peace with Denmark could only be made when Charles died in February 1660, and then France and England pressured the Dutch into making peace in May. Although Sweden was allowed to keep Scania in the south, they were forced to hand back land to Norway and Bornholm to Denmark, and the borders between the nations have largely remained the same until today. 